Hi everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here, and today I'm going to talk about why and how to culture freshwater amphipods, also known as scuds, or by their scientific name, Hyalella azteca. Scuds are extremely easy to culture and very prolific. Their size and movement appeal to a wide variety of fish. Adults are big enough to be interesting to goldfish, for example, but the juveniles are very small and suitable for tiny fish. They're great for aquatic amphibians, too. They can live in your aquarium until they're eaten, and if there are enough hiding places, they will often breed in small numbers, providing an occasional chase and snack. So let's talk about how to culture them. Well, one easy way to culture them is just to put them with Daphnia. You can check out my video on Daphnia culture and just put some scuds into your Daphnia culture. But if you're going to culture them by themselves, you'll need a container, such as a bucket or an aquarium. I've had success culturing them in fairly small containers, about a gallon and a quarter to up to 20 gallons, they, and they can be cultured in any size larger than that as well. Aeration or filtration is recommended. You'll get a lot more production that way. If you're using a filter, I would recommend a sponge filter, or if you're using a hang-on-back filter, I would cover the intake with a sponge. Otherwise, they'll get sucked up in the filter. Now, they'll often survive that and end up living on the filter medium, but it's not ideal. For best production, I recommend adding a lot of surface area, such as filter sponges. You can use gravel as substrate but they do really well in this tank where I only have one sponge and then they just cover the bottom and the sides of the aquarium. You can feed scuds almost anything, fish food pellets, algae wafers, or pieces of vegetables such as zucchini, pumpkin, sweet potatoes, romaine lettuce, and so on. A source of calcium such as cuttlebone is a good idea as well. Some variety in the diet is ideal. I use a turkey baster to harvest the scuds from the aquarium in the corners and along the walls. They're also attracted to nets, so you can put a net into the aquarium and then pull it back out to swish it into a separate container. It's a good idea to do partial water changes of 20% or more about every week, and after a month or two of reproduction you'll have more scuds than you know what to do with. One word of warning. In planted aquaria with fish that eat them, you won't have any problem, but in shrimp only tanks or with nano fish that are planted, they can become a plant pest. Besides that, I really consider scuds, or amphipods, one of my favorite live foods to culture, just because they are so easy, so prolific, and so versatile. I highly suggest that you give them a try. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday, all related to keeping aquarium and vivarium pets. You're most welcome to leave a comment and a like, and for those of you who are waiting for an animal voiceover at the end, subscribe.